Hey guys, it's the Soil Cloth here today, and so it is some Monster Scare Legends Leaks video. We have some more information on the upcoming brand new event, as well as some new relics. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so the first leak we have is for the upcoming event called the Faction Coliseums. And it looks like you can challenge yourself in the Faction Coliseums. Show us that no other Monster Master can rule the arena the way you do. And that is by topping the leaderboard. So it looks like you're going to be fighting in it, of course, because it is a Coliseum. And you will be able to go up in the ranks. We showed all the the different ranks in one of my last videos i wonder if i can find it it is right here so it is stone bronze iron steel and titanium so it might be similar to like pvp right now but kind of different i'm not sure exactly how it's going to be different but it definitely sounds like a pretty cool event and then we have a bunch of new ancestral relics we got the supremacy mask which is going to heal the wear if the wear loses a life and then it's also going to give a stamina and a minor damage boost to all allies if the wear loses life and then and it can also deal dark damage to all enemies if any enemy is from galactic or older generations so yeah that of course sounds very very good and then we have the staff which is going to give stamina to the wearer which is really good and it can also go ahead and remove stamina from the attacker which is really good and then if all allies are from the wicked gaia faction it can deal damage to all enemies and give nature weakness which is really good so yeah that is a very very good relic and then we have the essence which is going to go ahead and give stamina as well and it can also go and increase speed and apply double damage if a monster dies and it can also go ahead and increase speed as well as apply torture immunity to the wear if all allies are from righteous court faction so i don't think that one's as good but it is definitely still really good and then we have an amulet which is going to give armor to all allies which is really good and it can also apply time stop to a random enemy which is really cool and it can remove stamina from all enemies if any enemy is from galactic or older which is really good and then we have the sword which is going to go ahead and deal damage to all enemies which is really good and it can also heal all allies and it can apply one turn evasion to all allies and heal all allies if all allies are from the righteous court faction so that one sounds very very good and then we also have a trap which is going to deal points of damage and apply one random torture it can also heal all allies and it can give stamina to the wear and apply stun to a random enemy which is pretty cool and then we have an armor which is going to give Give armor to all allies and it can also heal the wear which is pretty cool and then if all allies are from the pure guy faction it can heal all allies and apply double life to allies which is pretty cool this will definitely be able to keep you alive and then we have a shield which is going to give armor to all allies as well and it can also go ahead and deal thunder damage to all enemies and apply one turn evasion to the wear and it can give stamina and apply shield protection which is really cool and then the last one is going to be the banner which can apply one random torture to one enemy it can also go ahead and deal damage and apply random debuffs which is pretty cool and if all allies are from the festivities faction it can apply a random buff to all allies which is okay this one seems kind of situational but it does still seem pretty good and then there's also going to be a new relic chest in order to get any of these relics which is called the tier 2 ancestral relic chest and from this message right here we can see uh, that the new event the faction costume is most likely coming next season which is very very cool so it will be coming very soon. Oh, and it looks like the Righteous Court Sword actually changed, so this last one right here no longer heals, it just applies evasion, which is still pretty good. And then we have almost every monster for next season confirmed, so if you want to see any of them, they are all right here. And then we have a Limited Era Saga for Women's Day, which is pretty cool. You need Pyro Electra to play this saga, so hopefully you have that monster. But if you don't, there will probably be a pretty easy way to get her. And then we have a long message about the Faction Coliseum. You'll be able to fight through every arena in the Coliseum, aiming for the best score to the highest on the leaderboards and earn rewards and you can improve your battle score as many times as with as many strategies as you want so that's pretty cool i feel like you're gonna be fighting a monster and whoever gets the highest score in the world will go up to certain tiers or whatever and then there's one we have saw thunder challenge if you need them for books that's pretty cool so go and try to get them if you do and then we have some upcoming monsters we have love 2 we have princess bell we have a ghoul Rosses, and we have queen thalassa so a few of these monsters sound like legendaries turned into mythics which is pretty cool and then we have a panda of conjuring banner rerun so you'll be able to get crippy and iron wings again and he's one of the best monsters in the game if not the best in the game so definitely try to get him and then we have a faction costume image so this is what the little emblem is going to look like and then we have the legends pass for season four right here so yeah that is one we have for this video don't forget to like share and subscribe more videos like this and i see you guys in the next one goodbye